Shalom. All praises, blessings, glories, and honors to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Kwadash. Double honors to my Ella apostles and Bishop Ellas of Great Millstone, who taught me this truth, as well of men of like mind. Shalom wa chasad, which means peace and mercy, to the elect of the nation of Israel. Who may soak on Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners of the seed line of all forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whom is scattered here in America, which is Babylon the Great, and abroad. To you, I say Shalom, beginning with the 144,000 prophets, and Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, willing. This lesson is edifying and informative. St. Matthew, chapter 12, verse 26. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? Mark, chapter 3, verse 24. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, a kingdom cannot stand. These are the words of our Lord Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, whom the world ignorantly and willingly calls Christ. His true name and his only name is Yahweh Shai. Yah means he. Yahweh Shai means saves or delivers. Yahweh Shai. He saves. He delivers. And the true and only name of the Heavenly Father, whom the world ignorantly and willingly calls God or Jehovah, is Yahweh. Yah means He. Hawa means is or exist. Yahweh. He is. He exists. Bahashem in name Yahawashai of the Savior of the Deliverer in the news from the AP Supreme Court allows federal agents to cut razor wire Texas installed on U.S.-Mexico border. This repays the way for so-called illegal immigrants to continue so-called, according to what the powers that be have labeled it, invade the land of America, Babylon the Great. But we who are spiritual, understand that it is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through Son Yahweh Shai, that have been bringing and causing all these so-called illegal immigrants to come here to America, Babylon, the Great, for one of two reasons. To either be destroyed or to be delivered for the elect that are amongst them. A divided Supreme Court on Monday allowed Border Patrol agents to cut razor wire that Texas installed on the U.S.-Mexico border. While a lawsuit over the wire continues, the justices, by a 5-4 vote, granted an emergency appeal from the Biden administration, which has been in an escalating standoff at the border with Texas 
and objected to an appellate ruling in favor of the state. The concertina wire is part of Texas Governor Greg Abbott's border fight with the Administration of Immigration Enforcement. This concludes the brief article. And so con things will continue to escalate. And the Lord Yahweh, through his son Yahweh Shai, will continue to cause more Israelites to migrate here to America, Babylon the Great, to either be destroyed for the rebels amongst them or to be delivered for the elect amongst them, whoever they may be. In other news from the Sputnik, Sarmat ICBM won't alter strategic equation with U.S. Now, before I read this article, I'd forgotten to make a point concerning the last. Now, with all these people coming here to America, Babylon the Great, Many of them who come here are still looking for food, shelter, clothing, for the basic necessities of life to start over. However, many of them that are sincerely looking for these things are still deprived of them. Meanwhile, you have some of them, in fact, most that are just straight up niggas, grimy bitches that are getting these things and they're taking advantage of the system. And not just taking advantage of the system, but they're actually robbing the different businesses of people that do and have been living here for decades setting people up because they all don't have nothing to lose because they're relatively new here so expect these people especially the criminals amongst them and during the time of Jacob's trouble to open the season on people here Second Nezzer chapter 15, verse 16. For there shall be sedition among men. What is sedition? Sedition is unlawful insurrection against lawful authority and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. So people won't regard their governors, their mayors, nor presidents because eventually they're going to get tired. And they're going to start to kill and invade the homes of each other. Take their food, take their drink, their clothing, their comforts. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able because the cities will be closed. The tunnels are going to be closed. Ferries, stellings are going to be closed. Airports are going to be closed. Subways are going to be closed. And so a man shall desire to go into a city but shall not be able because access to cities will be closed, will be shut down. So people that live in the cities will be shut in them. And only Lord knows the horrors, the unprecedented horrors that the Lord has in store for people that live in these major cities like New York, Chicago, so on and so forth. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. And don't forget, a lot of these uh, so-called immigrants that are uh, ex-criminals, uh, drug cartels, and whatever the case may be, Remember that they're 
uh, tactics of killing people are extremely brutal. You look at s certain gore videos, you'll recall exactly what I'm referring to. You know, they mutilate each other's body parts and all that, cut each other's heads off. They're extremely brutal. So don't be surprised when the Lord starts to open up judgment in these cities that are going to be troubled because of the pride of the people. I was going to have a lot of these different uh, so-called immigrants raping women out here, kill their husbands and raping, raping them, <laughs> raping their daughters. So a lot of you so-called bad bitches out here with a pretty face, big tits and fat ass that always like to say, oh, you know, I dress for me. You know, you dress real, really revealing. You know, everybody can see your crutch and all that. Keep that same energy when the Lord starts to open up judgment. Please keep that same energy. Let's see if you're going to dress for you, to, to, for you to feel good, as you would say, doing those unprecedented evils. Let's see. <laughs> you, better, you better keep that same energy. It says, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. Their houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Why? Because iniquity during those evils shall abound. And as it is written in St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 12, the words of our Lord Yahweh Shai, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Now, what is iniquity? Iniquity is the stacking of sin. 1 John chapter 3, verse 4 tells us that sin is transgression of the law of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. That were only, by the way, given unto the nation of Israel. According to Psalms chapter 147, verse 19, thus making us a holy, which means a separate people, unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, according to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. It reads on to say, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods, meaning to take their victuals because of the lack of bread famine, which is one of the four kinds that the Lord will appoint over two thirds of the nation of Israel during the evils of Jacob's trouble over the ones of them that say that the evils shall not overtake number of them, according to Amos chapter nine, verse 10 and for great tribulation. And so because of their pride, the Lord is going to punish them because many great miseries shall be done unto them that in the latter times have walked in great pride upon the earth, according to second Ezra the eighth chapter, right about the 50th verse, roughly paraphrased in the scripture. So now the point has been made. Now let's go back to this article published by the Sputnik. Sormat ICBM won't alter strategic equation with U.S. Moscow. The Sormat ICBM, formerly known as the Satan, Two ICBM is replacing the Vovodova or Vio Voda, if I pronounce that correctly, for you brothers and sisters that speak Russian out there. Literally, warlord missile. And as Russian President Vladimir Putin once said, this nuclear weapon will make Moscow's enemies think twice before doing something stupid. Why? Refer to the uh, Tsar. Bomba, which by the way, Tsar was, was a Russian uh, lord or like a title for a high Russian official. A Tsar, my memory serves me correct. Placing the Tsar at ICBM on combat duty was not alter, will not alter, excuse me, the strategic equation with the US. Since the introduction of new missiles had fallen in line with the new star treaty. Even before the agreement was suspended, Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Rybkov told Sputnik, Putting this system on combat duty does not alter strategic equation. Russia's strategic nuclear forces are a breathing, adapting organism. <laughs> Their nuclear forces composition is adapted accordingly to modernization programs, not only through the inclusion of new systems, but also through gradual decommissioning of older systems. So basically what 
this means is that Russia will continue to beat their plashes into swords and their printer hooks and spears. That is to say that they will continue to take their economic wealth and use them towards the research, development, and enhancements and modifications of weapons of mass destruction, in particular, ICBM nuclear missiles. What proves this? This exact statement right here. Because this man just said that the Russian nuclear forces is a living, breathing organism. That metaphorically means that we will continue to adapt accordingly to modernization programs. We'll continue to grow. Not only through the inclusion of new systems, but also through gradual decommissioning of older systems. We'll continue to refine our nuclear capabilities, our nuclear armed forces. Why? In preparation for the Dark World's War, which comes quickly. Which, by the way, we're already in, in the process of that. All we're waiting on is a mark of the beast to be mandated globally. Okay? So this thing is, 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 is ever expanding. The Lord is hastening the days. He added that there would not be strong quantitative fluctuations, meaning that Russia is using a step-by-step -step approach to developing its strategic nuclear forces, which is smart. The Sormat is considered the most deadly weapon on Earth since it can strike anywhere and is extremely hard to intercept. Not just the fact that it is hard to intercept and that it can strike anywhere, but the fact that it possesses a warhead or more that carries about 50 megatons of TNT. Remember, the Tsar bomber's warhead had to be slashed in half to around about the same, 50 megatons. So if that had to be slashed, then could you guess the original yield of the bomb? It was about 101 megatons of TNT. <laughs> Putin announced that Moscow was suspending its participation in the New Star Treaty, which did not imply a complete withdrawal from the agreement. The president explained that U.S. and other Western countries aimed to inflict a strategic defeat on Russia. The New Star Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty imposed restrictions on Russian and U.S. nuclear arsenal, but the U.S. has been gradually in getting ready to expand its nuclear arsenal. Refer referred to uh the the production, the reproduction of, of uh uranium pits. Okay, they're getting ready to to, to produce nuclear bombs, man. For what? <laughs> for for war. Under the deal, Moscow and Washington each could have seven hundred missiles, eight hundred launcher launchers, and fifteen fifty deployed warheads. Russian officials have repeatedly stressed that Moscow, as a responsible nuclear power, will never be the first to resume nuclear testing, but will be ready to mirror responses. This concludes the article. In other news from the RT, China develops hypersonic smart shell media. Hypersonic means exceeding sound. Hyper means exceeding sonic means sound. The state-of-the-art weapons delivery system transports warheads at seven times the speed of sound, Mach 7 speed, that is to say. Chinese naval scientists claim to have created a so-called smart shell that is capable of delivering a position strike to a target at hypersonic speeds, the South China Morning Post SCMP reported. The shell, which Beijing says can travel at Mach 7 speed, or seven times the speed of sound, is capable of changing its flight plan with the use of satellite navigation systems the outlet said on Monday. The state-of-the-art weapon delivery system can also deliver a warhead to a target with a margin of error of less than 15 meters, it added. Its precision strike abilities may make it insufficient to attack smaller mobile objects like tanks, but it will theoretically be ideal for larger static targets such as warships or ports. The development of the military technology, the SCMP said, Bills on the U.S. Navy's proposed development of the Dream Shell, a similar weapon system that was theoretically intended to navigate at a speed of Mach 5 and be guided by GPS satellite signals. The U.S. military first proposed the concept in 2012, indicating its in 
intention to test fire the dream shell within five years, the SCMP said, but the deadline passed in 2017. By 2021, the U.S. military had abandoned research and development of the weapons system, the report added. Yet, and China continued this and built their own. The Chinese team who developed the Mach 7 shell also said that while the U.S. began its development of the technology first, they themselves had received no support from Western scientists. We had no guidance, not even a, a cursory introduction to guided missile navigation systems, especially the satellite navigation component. Feng Jing of China's Naval University of Engineering wrote in an engineering journal in November. Shell technology is expected to widely to be excuse me, widely used in battlefield scenarios, given that it is relatively cost effective to reduce but maintains the long range precision strike capabilities more often associated with missiles. During launch, though, the shells generate a significant electromagnetic field which can subsequently damage electronic components such as microchips or antennas, potentially destroying its own satellite navigation system. The Chinese scientists say they bypassed this problem by developing an antenna that can withstand electromagnetic signals while also maintaining precision satellite navigation. Beijing's Navy has recently said that it has made a series of breakthroughs in weapons development, particularly in the field of electromagnetic weapons, the SCMP said, adding that war game simulations of new military horror challenges the traditional advantages held by Western nations. So the Lord is increasing the nuclear capabilities and efficiencies of these different nations by having them beating their plashes into swords and their printer hooks into spears. So things are heating up even more, right? So I got one more scripture and conclude the lesson. Got to head out soon to, uh, to, to, to the plantation. So this is Ecclesiastes Chapter 3, verse 1. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Verse 4. A time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. We are not in a time to laugh, nor are we in a time to dance. However, two-thirds of the nation of Israel continue to marry and give in marriage. They continue to laugh, they continue to dance. However, we that are of the Lord's hopeful elect, Abba Rajah, we are of the elect, for we are prisoners of hope. We are in the house of mourning. Thus, we are in a, in in a state of weeping and mourning. Verse eight: a time to love and a time to hate. And right now, the world is not is is not fully in a time of uh, laughter. Many parts of the world are in sorrow or in grief or in mourning. Verse eight: a time to love and a time to uh, a time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. And we are in a time of war. We are hearing of wars and rumors of wars. But then it's not yet because the mark of the beast, which is the RFID market chip, must first be mandated across the globe. And it will be very soon. Okay, in a time of peace. Not, right now, we're not in a time of peace. You'd be a fool to think that we're in a time of peace. We're in, we're in a time of war, man. I think uh, Bob Marley sang a song, Every day is war. Something, something like that. Something, something like that. Something, something along those lines. Miss a war. But anyway. Anyways. Shalom to the elect. Until the next Lord's run. I say shalom. This has been another in the news.